I decided to go alone. Most people don't. They gather in groups of 12, waiting for the hour, every hour. There's safety in numbers, they say. A dozen bodies, a dozen chances. But running alone, that's for the desperate, the mad. Still, people do it. And here I am, one of them. Open the gate. I am running alone. It wasn't always like this. There was a time when the border was nothing more than a line in the dirt. But after the collapse, after the old world fell, the land changed. We were trapped, a failed experiment in survival, locked behind rusted walls while the world outside grew wild, free. They call it the buffer zone now, a no man's land of mud and monsters. On the other side, they say, is freedom. But to get there, you have to cross the zone. And between here and there, it's not just the wasteland you need to fear. It's the creatures. They roam the zone, hunting anyone who dares to cross. The only way through is to run from cage to cage. You wait inside, hoping the monsters lose interest. And when they do, you run again. Few survive. Most are torn apart before they even reach the second cage. There it is, the first one. It watches me from the dirt, part of the land, part of the nightmare. It knows I'm here, but it waits. I lock the gate behind me, hands shaking. They circle the cage, testing the bars, waiting for me to make a mistake. They always wait. The creatures retreat into the mist after what feels like hours. My heart races, but I can't stay. The next cage is farther. The path is lined with rusted bars and broken promises. Freedom or death. I push forward again, running, stumbling. I can hear them behind me. The ground shakes with their steps. I don't know if the stories are true. I don't know if freedom even exists. But staying here means death. So, I run. I run alone. 